Hey guys, today I'm going to go ahead and take all four of my Harbor Freight 100 watt panels. Got four of them. Whoop. I got four of them right here. I've never built a stand to hold them all, so my plan is to take all these four panels. I'm going to lay them in the yard right here, use some of this old scrap wood I have, and try to build some sort of stand to hold them all. Kind of like this stand. And then I also want to reorganize all these panels. I have another one there I can add. And I have another one over there I would like to add to this array. And then we'd be using all the panels I have. Because that's really all I'm missing is just more solar panels for my solar setup. So we're going to focus more on the Harbor Freight ones. Go ahead and build a little stand here. At least something to hold them all together just for now. And then later on we'll go back and make it better. So as I work and lay them out, I'll kind of show you guys how I'm doing it. All right, here's what I came up with with the four Harbor Freight 100 watt panels. These things are pretty big. I'm gonna come on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the wiring done now. The wiring is really weird on these because traditional panels have separated leads, but these are kind of joined together. They're also really thin, so I don't know if that's gonna impact power output, but just for now, we're gonna use what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and series all these together, and then we're gonna connect our output lead to go that way, and then we're gonna hook it up to a charge controller. It's pretty shady right now, so I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot of actual power, so that kind of sucks. So on a nice full sunny day, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the system outputs. And then maybe we can optimize it. Maybe I can shorten the wires up a little bit, put some better conductors on it, and just see what we can really get out of this. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get all the wiring done. And I'm going to kind of set this thing up on the ground with some bricks until I can eventually build a stand stand because I don't really have enough wood to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So here we are in my room. I have our 12-volt solar cart set up. I did end up hooking up the Wheezy battery to give us a little bit more capacity. So that's 5,000 watt hours plus another 1,200. So pretty good. Got the inverter running right now. As you can see, we have the Medea inverter window unit. It's on medium right now, so pulling about maybe five, 600 watts. And this system is working really, really, really good. I got the solar coming in right here, charge controller right there. Basically, I let this thing charge up all day. And then when I come home from work, I kick this thing on until I go to bed and I can easily run the AC unit, you know, at low to medium power for probably about 20 hours. So that's pretty good. And yeah, this system isn't working great. I've been doing this for about a week now and nothing so far has gone wrong. I'm still very happy with it. I do got to still tidy up a couple things, but like I said, I really built this system specifically to run things like this and smaller. I don't really want to run anything too big on it just because there's not a whole lot of a super amount of capacity. This is still really, really good though for a portable system. I mean, some people's permanent installs, you know, don't even scratch five, six kilowatt hours. So the fact that I can have that on a mobile cart is awesome and it's going to fit my needs perfectly. I do probably need to add some more solar at some point. Right now, this is right now this is charging on four Harbor Freight 100 watt panels, and I see about 380 watts peak out of them. I mean, there's probably a little bit of loss in the wiring, and it also could be mounted better. There's Pete, there's Charlie out there. Look at him. But yeah. Anyway, so this setup works really well. So. And in the main living room, we're running the mini split with our 48 volt cart. So that's how I'm able to kind of split the systems up, but still solar cool the house in two separate rooms instead of just one room. And that overall cools the whole house down as a whole. So that's freaking awesome. But yeah, just wanted to kind of show you guys this real quick.